Well, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and today's of which is on uh, Toa Matanui from Summer 2009, of course. Well, Titan version of it, but last last Throwback Thursday, Cancer version, of course. So, so, kind of a lot of stuff going on in this box, but let's start. First, I got the Golden Bonacle logo, Toa Matanui, and a little bit of the scrawl shield with the Scarabax beetle in it. And picture of Toa Matanui in a striking pose, of course, limited edition, which indicated it as a Toys R Us exclusive. And so, farewell, Toys R Us, of course. And add for the uh, Bon Caledri Reborn DVD movie, but to older style version, till at least the official version changed it up a bit. And it says DVD not included in the box, kind of weird, and Lego logo. And from some old advertisement is the uh, large Vakulin piece sticking out for that, indicating the uh, other robot that Matanui powers at the end of the saga, of course. And then Bonkle.com, and in the back is all of the Glatorian legends and Toa Matanui again. And then Age recommendation is 8 through 16, set number 8998, has 366 pieces, although I think should have been a much smaller box and also much cheaper price, but anyways. And onto the back of the box. So now as you see him in a fierce in a regular pose again, logos again. All the features of him, bio code, add for the Bonk figure game, all the Glatorian Legend sets together, and also add for the movie again, and a few screenshots of the movie, of course. And now onto the manuals. And of course, came with two of which. Same picture as on the front of the box and everything. On the back, the first one, add for the a uh, movie, of course. Last up there. On the back, how to win on the online survey. Add for Lego Club. Add for all the Glatorian Legend sets. All the pieces that come with the set. And the last steps. No ad for the figure game, of course, but whatever. And now, next on to Toa Matanui himself, which I can barely get all in frame. But, so starting with the legs, like I always do. So of course, all of his build, kind of similar to that of Miss Tita Takanuva's, but we'll discuss later, but as you see, has the regular uh, Anika foot piece and uh, Kitongu's uh, foot pieces, but they're for extra effect. And had the uh, Mystica shield pieces in regular yellow, like we've seen on the yellow Jet Rax T6, of course. And had the Anika uh, leg parts, but in gold, like what Tarix had, which you get only three of in this set. Well, three total of three gold pieces in this set. And further up, then you see some more Technic bits to him, and also the foot pieces again, but used for leg armoring. And for the hip parts, which is kind of similar to that of some of the other Titan sets, but instead of uh, limb joint pieces, instead it's the piston pieces. Kind of like they, which same used for the legs, of course. And also, to make sure he's not so thin and empty, added a Borok shield to it in silver, for whatever reason. Although, someone of which modified it with the gold one that came with the Rakshi stars. And, yeah. and further above is... Which another one of the Anika foot pieces, but also in Key Orange and Matoro's armor in Key Orange as well. well. Also like that from regular Matanui. And for the arms is also the same as 
uh, Mystica Takanuva's but in a core and but with the scare up piece to it and limb piece and of course the sword that Matanui holds in the Legend Reborn movie comprised of regular Scarabacks piece and Jolar and Mari's sword although in the movie it's uniquely shaped but of course you can make modify it that way if you want as well I think. and for the other hand there which is this little uh, shield piece which is not present in the movie of course but probably had to make something unique for him and of course has the sword pieces from Batil and the Mystica line and you can open and close it like any Scareback beetle did and of course somewhere within there is some a uh, Technic connector piece that was probably new for this one and of course another blue pin sticking out probably to uh, ease it into it or whatever and for the and of course he's one of the last sets to use actual posable hands which as you see with these Technic bits When in doubt, bingy out. It's all worth a thumbs up. Yeah, anyways. It's good that they included that for this important character. And as for the back view, is not much anything. Some bit of exposure and two of the uh, dial pieces or the game dials since of course double it for double the power since most of the vehicle sets also did that and are held on by the uh, Takadox, Baraki Takadox is a neck piece of course. Good use of the pieces there and of course same effect as Takaduva did and onto the head of which which has the gold Kanohi Ignaika which we haven't which we waited for a long time in this year and of course also haven't seen since one of the Baraki uh, mini videos of course and of course to, although To Ignaika received it and or when Matoro received it turned silver and but at least good that they brought it it for this set of course and he which only set in 2009 to reuse the Toa Metru headpiece and also that piece of it, the brainstock piece of course only set of the year to do that even though the rest of which were just with the new Gatorian headpiece of course And now onto a couple of comparisons with the regular canister set version Matanui. See, although he may be a lot taller than him, of course, but although the sword of which also you can probably plop on it, it onto him if you want, and of course they both of which kind of have the scarabacks a uh, shield theme going on, like both the pinchers on both versions, although. Would be a little cooler if they made special piece to be represent uh, Click's face, of course. And of course, although uh, that the Titan version does have some bits of gold on him, but I think they should have had some more gold on him, or at least put some gold on the Cancer Set version. But maybe it would have been a little too much. But at least couldn't know he Nika present on both versions and. Although I think blue would have been a much better color for the eyes to kind of match up with the Casper set version. But at least I can forgive it on how it is. And now also with Mystica Takanuva. 
that as you can see the builds together kind of eerily similar yeah. and for both front and back same exact kind of effect going for it and arms also the same kind of built to them but with different pieces added on and although of course Doc Nuva in at his time was thirty dollars and Toa Matanini fifty although he which like ten to twenty dollars overpriced to that and but anyways and now on to with the final verdict on him. And overall, he I think a pretty cool set from 2009. Like, since of course it's of Matanui, who we of course waited forever for until that time to have as a set. And of course, all the lot of good mocking pieces to him and. Although, but as for the price to piece ratio, it kind of fails on that. Like, a little, little too much for the piece count. Although I think he should have had a much smaller box. It would have been priced a lot cheaper. But maybe they just wanted to make it more expensive as, like, the Grace must have or whatever. But otherwise, I can forgive it for how it is, for how he is, and yeah. And of course, he which he's the main star of the Life Reborn movie, which of course makes also makes him a must-have. And of course, the gold Kenobi Nike, also worthy. And yeah. And if you still have this set from back in the day, well, good that you have. And I hope you had some good memories of him. And for those of you who have it and still have access to him, then I'd say truly go ahead and get him. eBay for clink, whatever. Even though he may be worth a lot more, but yeah. And that's about it with this video. Like, comment, and subscribe, share, and thanks for watching.